So uh, the question is, three capacitors are connected in series to a 24 volt DC supply. Use um, your individual capacitor values from the table one and sketch the circuit and fully label it. Then determine the following. First is the total circuit capacitance, the charge uh, on each capacitor, the voltage across each capacitor, the energy stored in each capacitor. So to uh, do a sketch of the circuit, it's basically a battery connected in, ser in series with three capacitors in series. Simple as that. Your voltage is 24 volts. You can just say voltage of supply VS. VS voltage of supply 24 volts. And C1, we just pick uh, number six from the list. Yeah, so the value is 50 microfarads. For C1, C2 also 50 microfarad and C3 100 microfarad. And now what we're uh, trying to do is to find that that's the first part that says fully label the circuit, draw it and fully label it. That's that's that, that part. Uh, part A, total circuit capacitance, A, capaci total capacitance CT is, because the capacitors are in series, the formula for that is opposite to resistors, uh, this, uh, basically the same as resistors in parallel. So, uh, with resistors in series, you would just add them to find the total resistance for resistors in parallel, you would do uh, the sum of reciprocal values and uh, find the total res uh, resistance. With the capacitors in series, it's similar to resistors in parallel. So 1 over 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3. Uh, just make sure you put them in brackets so it, your calculator doesn't make a mistake. And if you put the values there, if everything is microfarad, you don't need to convert it to base units like farad. Uh, but if, uh, if you have microfarad, farad, millifarad, nanofarad, then you have to change them all to one unit and then find it. But because they're all microfarad, just leave them as it is. Just say one over and the final answer will be in microfarad. One over 50 plus one over 50 plus 1 over 100. And if you put those values in your calculator, it will be 20 microfarads. And that micro is, you just use that little u instead of m. m means millifarad, which is a big difference between millifarad and microfarad. Microfarad is times 10 to the power of minus 6. Millifarad is times to to the times to uh, times 10 to the power of minus 3. So a big difference there. Make sure you use the right uh, symbol. Uh, that symbol is mu uh, or just use uh, little u instead of m. <coughs> so that's uh, the first part. Then uh, question B says the charge on each capacitor, right? So now, because in series charge is constant, same as current in resistors in series, uh, charge in capacitors uh, when they're connected in series is constant. So uh, because we don't have a voltage, the formula for charge is Q equals C times V. And now because we have the total voltage, we don't have the individual voltage as the mo at the moment, uh, not yet, we don't have that, we'll have to find that later, but at the moment we don't have that. So 
we use the voltage and the C we can use here is the total capacitance, uh, not the individual. If you use the individual capacitor, you have to use the individual voltage. So it would be C1 times V1, which would be Q1, and that would be the same throughout the circuit. But Q, as in general, we just say Q instead of saying Q1, 2, 3, uh, or just say QT. Um, which is the same as Q1, Q2, and Q3 in this circuit, in this series, the same as CT, total capacitance, times voltage. And that is total capacitance, 20 microfarad. Now, here, we need to actually convert it to farad, because charge is in coulombs only when the capacitance is in farad. If you want... To leave it as micro, that's fine, as long as you remember you haven't converted it, so in the end you put down micro coulomb, whatever the, the value is. So I'll just say 20 times 24. Uh, if I just leave it as that, instead of saying 20 times 10 to the power minus 6 times 24, uh, then I'll just leave it as that without the times 10 to the power minus 6 which would convert microfarad to farad without this so I don't need to I could do it that way and put down in front of it charge uh, in coulombs uh, it's 480 it would be coulombs uh, if, if I did the times 10 to the power minus 6 because I haven't done that I would just say micro coulombs Uh, that's one way of doing it. So, uh, this QT is equal throughout the circuit in series. The charge uh, on each capacitor would be the same. So you can just write here, because it says charge on each capacitor, you can say QT equals Q1 equals Q2 equals Q3 equals 480 micro, uh, sorry, micro coulombs and explain uh, a little line um, that is because in series charge is constant. So that's that. And C says find the voltage across each capacitor. Because now we have the uh, charge which is constant throughout the circuit and we know charge is the formula for charge is capacitance times voltage, then we can say um, Q1 is C1 times V1. From that we can find, therefore, V1 is Q1 over C1. Same way for uh, V2. That's Q2 over C2, and V3 is Q3 over C3. And if you just put the values there, 480 is constant, uh, but that is 480 times 10 to the power of minus 6, because it's microcoulombs, over capacitance C150 times 10 to the power of minus 6. Again, we could ignore that because you have micro, micro coulomb up there and micro farad here. You could just ignore the micros because they're the same. This basically cancels that. And you find 400, uh, 480 over 50, that's 9.6 volts. Uh, for this one, I'm just going to write the uh, values in micro. So you don't need to write the times 10 to the power minus 6. You could do that, or you could just leave it because it makes no difference, they cancel each other. And 50 again would be 9.6 volts, and for this one, 480 over 100 because capacitor C is 100 microfarad, that is uh, 4.8 volts. Now, to test your answers to see if these values are right, we've said Kirchhoff's. Voltage law says voltage drop across each um, individual element in the series circuit should sum up 
should sum up to the value of the voltage of the supply. So uh, if this is V1 and that's V2 and that's V3, uh, Vs is V1 plus V2 plus V3. So if you just add those uh, together, you'll see the voltage will be uh, 24 volts. So, so Vs is 9.6 plus 9.6 plus 4.8. 24 volts. And we haven't lost anything. 24 volts. 24 volts. That's equal to the supply voltage, and we know uh, it's 24 volts. So we know it's 24 volts, so we know the values that we found here is correct. Then uh, we get on to question B. Uh, just need to wipe all this. So question D asks you to find the energy stored in each uh, individual capacitor. E equals C V squared over 2. That is the formula for energy stored in a capacitor. Now because we want to find each individual E1 equals C1 times V1 squared over 2. And if you put the values there, C150... Because it's, again, we can leave it as micro and then get the energy in microjoules or times 10 to the power of minus 6 and then find it in joules. So I just put down uh, as it is 50 micro, but I remember in the end I have to put micro in front of my uh, value microjoule or whatever it is. So micro is there, I don't need to do times 10 to the power of minus 6 times. Voltage V1 was 9.6 squared over 2, and the, the answer for that would be 2304 microjoules E2 C2 V squared V2 squared over 2, and that is again, uh, it just happened to be the same 50 times 9.6 squared over 2. And that's 2304 again micro joules. And last one, A E3 is C3 times V3 squared over 2. That's 100 times uh, the voltage was 4.8 squared. We, we found this previously. These voltages we found them previously uh, over two. That's 1152 microjoules again. Micro because we haven't times this by uh, 10 to the power minus 6. If we did that, it wouldn't put my micro, the number would be 0. Point something. Uh, that. So that's that. If we wanted to find the total energy, we would either add them all together, E1 plus E2 plus E3, or you could just say E uh, total is C total times V S squared over 2. And that would be uh, the total capacitance we found, it was uh, 20 microfarad times 24 voltage of the supply squared over 2 and if you do that or you do it this way add them all together you'll get the same answer and that will be 5760 micro joules that's that question done next question is similar to the other one in, in you have three capacitors but in instead of being connected in series, they're connected in parallel. So, parallel connection, again, um, they're connected to a 24 volts supply, DC 20, 24 volts 
that's VS, and it's connected to three capacitors, C1, C2, and C3. And the values are the same as before, uh, 50 microfarad, 50 microfarad, and this is 100 microfarads. Uh, what we have to do now, we have to find those same things again. The total capacitance in the network, we we'll sketch the diagram, so that's that, and labeled it, that's what you have to do. And then the total capacitance for A, total capacitance is in parallel uh, connection of the um, capacitors, total capacitance is just the sum of all the capacitors uh, together. So C1 plus C2 plus C3, you add them together, uh, 50 plus 50 plus 100, that's 200 microfarad. Again, I didn't write times 10 to the power of minus 6 for each one of them because they're all micro, so I'll just keep it as micro, microfarad. Uh, question B says, voltage across each capacitor, because they're connected in parallel, I don't even need to calculate anything. I can see voltage is constant in, par in a parallel circuit, voltage is constant. So you just explain one, one line here, in parallel circuit, voltage is constant. So therefore, V S equals V1 equals V2 equals V3 equals 24 volts. You just explain one, one line uh, here that in, in a parallel circuit, voltage is constant. C, uh, total charge accumulated by the circuit Total charge Q T is C total times V and I don't say V1, V2, V3 or Vs because V is the yeah, voltage is constant you could just say Vs and that is 200 times 24 remember this is 200 microfarad so again I'm not doing that times 10 to the power of minus 6 because I want to just put down here micro coulomb instead of saying a lot of decimals and say coulomb. So um, as long as you bear that in mind this is micro it will be micro coulomb the answer. Uh, 200 times 24 4800 micro Coulomb. That's the total charge. And energy D is energy uh, stored. in each capacity and E is total energy. So we find the total uh, individual energies first E is C times V over V squared over 2 but if we find we're looking at E1 then it's C1 V1 squared over 2 but V is constant anyway so there is no V1, V2, V3 so again C1 is 50. Again, I'm not doing times 10 to the power minus 6 because it's micro. I'll leave that uh, to, the, to write as micro joules. Uh, times voltage is 24 squared over 2. 
and if you do the calculations, you get 14,400 microjoules. And for E2, it's C2 times V2 squared over 2. And put the values, it'd be similar to this because the values happen to be the same 50 times 24 squared over 2, that would be 14,400 microjoules. And for C, and um, sorry, for E. 3 C3 times V squared. You can write V3, but we know the voltage is constant. V3 squared over 2, and that is 100 times 24 squared over 2. And the answer for that is 28,800 microjoules. For energy in total, that's question E. E T is either you just do the sum of E1, E2, E3, or you could say E T is C T V squared, V S squared over 2. And if you do either way, either this way or that way, you don't have to do both ways, one or two, one or the other will just give you the same answer and that will be 200, the total capacitance was 200 times 24 squared over 2, that will give you uh, 57,600 micro joules. And that's it for that question.